Ready? Good boy. Still working on the drop. If you want me to throw it, you have to drop it. Hello everyone, welcome back to another vlog and welcome back to lockdown. It's day one of our second lockdown here in the UK. It's Thursday the 5th of November. I don't know what's going on here. I was really cold this morning, so I put a roll neck under a jumper. And now it's, it's got a bit saggy, it looks a bit weird. Um, my hair just really needs washing, but I'm not going out. So I'm just at home today. It's lunchtime. I have had a really productive morning of admin and getting stuff done. I've literally been sat at my desk um, since nine till one. Me and Bertie went for a walk this morning um, and now it's lunchtime. So just having a little play with him. I'm gonna make some lunch and I'm also going to make um, a chicken casserole for our dinner. And well, when I say make, I'm just gonna chop it all up and shove it in the slow cooker now so it's got enough time to cook for dinner i'm not feeling too kind of dawned like I'm, I'm feeling okay about the second lockdown the kind of staying in part of it i don't mind because i'm at home anyway and to be honest like not that much changes for me really because i'm at home on my own all the time anyway and i spend so much time on my own anyway have been out for a few meals obviously and I have some friends um, so that will be the only thing that I will miss kind of seeing my friends family and going out for a dinner here and there um, but apart from that I'm happy to be at home I feel like I won't get that much extra time because my work load and my workflow will still continue as normal so I'm still going to be working like all day every day so it's only really going to be the weekends that perhaps are a bit different so yeah and tom is still working he's out working still so it's quite nice to have the house to myself because if he was here all day every day i'm not sure about that i like to have i like to do my own thing just browning off the chicken thighs and there's also garlic and onions in here as well um you just brown that off before putting in the slow cooker and I'm just going to do the veg now. So I've just been following this recipe, it's just a BBC Good Food one, I will link it down below. Um, but now all of the veg is in there. So there is potatoes, carrots, um, leeks, celery, I think that's everything. Um, there's the stock, mustard, bay leaves. Um, I'm just going to mix all of this up. I'm going to put a bit more salt and pepper on and then I'm going to leave it. So I'm going to cook this for four hours on high because it's quarter to two and I want this about six o'clock. Okay, so my casserole is on. This neck thing, oh my god, not neck thing, polar neck. It looks like I've got an old bandage around my neck. I really need to take it off but it's quite warm. So casserole is in and it's two o'clock and I've got a Zoom call at three o'clock well it's not a zoom call it's with neon and it's um like a christmas event we're going to be like learning how to wrap presents which i'm really excited for because i love doing that sort of thing um but we've got some eggs that need using up and the other day when i was in tesco i did buy some baking ingredients because i love baking and i love cakes so much so with my next hour that's actually what i'm going to do i was supposed to be editing a couple of videos um but i'm going to do them tonight instead and also, I just really fancy, I know it's so basic, but just a fairy cake with a bit of icing on. You know, just like the water icing, the icing you mix with water. I just really fancy them. And you know when the sponge is warm? Mmm, so good. So that's what I'm going to make. They're literally going to be the basic of fairy cakes. I've got like the ultimate plain cupcake holder things. I've got no toppings, so they're going to be so plain, but they're going to be so tasty warm sponge with that really nice icing on mm. okay but also i'm not a tidy as you go girl whenever my mum comes round or when tom sees this mess he's also why don't you tidy as you go and i think no because i'm always in a rush like i just want to do the next thing i'm always moving on to the next thing so what i like to do is make a massive mess and then just have one big tidy at the end but i just want to get on with these cakes and you know what the best part is about making cakes eating the mixture i can't wait i haven't had lunch this is classic me all i want now is cake cake for lunch so that's what i'm gonna do what i have found in the baking cupboard is some vanilla um like vanilla extract oh and these these are from last christmas 
gold and bronze crunch. Um, I don't know whether to put them on top or not. I think I'm happy for them to be plain on top, but I might just put a little bit of the vanilla in the sponge mix. Here is my cake mixture. I've obviously had to try it to make sure it's okay. I love cake mixture, it tastes so good. Okay, this is the state of the kitchen. This is very messy. Oh, I forgot to show you the cakes before they went in. But there they are in the oven. Um, I'm going to, they only take 10 minutes, so I'm going to get as much tidying as I can in those 10 minutes. Here are all of my little cakes. It made so many. I actually used nicer, um, uh, what are they called, like little wrappers on a few of them because I'm gonna drop them in to our neighbors because we're not gonna eat all of these and they've got two little children, so I think they might like them. I'm just gonna let these cool down for a little bit. They're so tiny. Um, and then ice them. Okay, so all tidied up. The, I just need to put the washing up away. All tidy and clean. So I've got my tea and my cake. Um, and I'm all set up ready for my Neom um, Zoom session this afternoon. We're learning how to gift wrap. Look at all the lovely pieces they've sent. Some dried orange, um, pine cones, and some ribbons and bits. I'm really excited. And these are some of their Christmas gifts. This candle smells amazing. It's got pine, myrrh, and lime peel in. Um, I'm just going to show you. It's such a nice jar as well. Such a nice Christmas gift. It says, happy mind, happy life. Here is one of my presents wrapped. We did it with the dried orange and a cinnamon stick. It looks so nice, doesn't it? But this candle that I wrapped is so nice and I really want to burn it now. But now I've wrapped it, I feel like I can't unwrap it. I'm gonna keep it as a gift and give it to someone. I didn't get to ice my cakes properly earlier. Tom has got home from work, as you can see. Typical man, I mean, just leave the wrappers where you found them. I mean, put them in the bin. So I'm gonna ice these. We had a bit of a malfunction with the dishwasher. Um, oh, I think it's all cleared, but it's got an error message, so I need to sort that out. Gonna finish icing the cakes. There's more mess. Don't you just find you tidy up and then there's just mess again. Um, but I'm gonna get tidied, finish um, some work up, and then hopefully that'll be it. We have a situation with the dishwasher. Basically, one of our little scrubby brushes it's like in a little holder, but all the liquid, the throw up liquid had leaked out of it onto the holder and I put the holder in the dishwasher and all of the foam was coming out and now we're gonna have to pull it, I don't know what's going on with it, but now we've got to fix it. Okay, so the dishwasher I think is fixed. Basically what had happened was we've got this, um, like, yeah, as I said, like a little scrubby brush and it sits in this little holder, but the scrubby brush, you fill it up with fairy up liquid and it had been leaking. So I just put the holder where it had been leaked onto into the dishwasher, but that had like loads of fairy up liquid on the holder and then loads of foam started coming out of the bottom of the dishwasher and then, oh, there was like an error message on it and it's just taken us for like an hour and a half to, um, because it's like an integrated one, we had to get it out, pull it out, find a YouTube video of how to fix it. I'm talking quietly because Tom's still putting it back together and he's angry at me. I think in hindsight, it's such a silly thing to do, but I just didn't think about it. I just was like putting the dishwasher on, a little bit of space in, and I thought, oh, what else can go in? And I was just like chucking things in there. I won't do that again. Will I never put anything with washing up liquid in your dishwasher? Um, so no more of the early night because now I need to tidy up this room. So I've got to tidy this pile and all of this. So I'm gonna do that now. Good morning, everyone. It's Friday. I'm in London and I've got the train in today because I'm going to 76 Harley Street um, because I'm having my braces fitted next week. So I'm going in today for um, an x-ray, hygienist and some other things. So I think I'm actually gonna be there for a little while. Um, but I'm just walking down Harley Street now, I'm nearly there, so I'll show you a bit more when we're inside. <laughs> Saturday and I am painting some pots and vases. I'm using sample paints that we had from when we were decorating the house and I'm also adding bicarbonate of soda into the paint. 
it gives this really nice rustic um, ceramic look um, and then mixed with the neutral panes it looks so nice so this is what I'm doing now I give them one coat let them dry for about half an hour and then it gives them a second coat there is an IGTV video over on my home Instagram account, which is at Laura Burns Home. I'll link the video in the description box below, which shows a little bit more detail of what I'm doing. How delicious is my lunch? I'm very proud of this. Um, this is a oven baked baguette with some oven baked goat's cheese and then some walnuts, olive oil and balsamic glaze. I cannot wait to eat this. Hello everyone. It is Monday and I have been bad at the vlogging. Um, I think I last picked up the camera. Well, actually, I did film some over the weekend. I painted some vases, um, which I think I would have put them before here. Um, but yeah, I kind of, I just had one of those weekends at home, actually was being really productive and I felt like I am recording my life whether I'm like filming a video or I feel like I'm on camera a lot and I just felt like over the weekend, I just didn't want to be. I was happy like doing things around the house. So on Friday, I went to 76 Harley Street to have, I had, a hygienist appointment I saw the dentist for x-rays just to make sure my teeth were kind of healthy um, and strong enough to take the braces um, and then I saw the orthodontist to have all of the before photos taken and one final meet before the braces go on. So if I had any other questions or anything, we went through all of those. I'm getting my braces fitted tomorrow, which I'm so excited for. I'm also really kind of like, I don't know if nervous is the right word, maybe apprehensive of just like what they're gonna look like, um, how they're gonna feel. I'm just, it's just the unknown, isn't it? I'm so excited to have it done, but you know when it's just something new, it is a little bit nerve wracking, so I'll take you along tomorrow anyway. Good morning everyone. It's Tuesday morning and today is the day my braces are being fitted. I'm leaving really soon. Um, ah, I'm just, I, I don't know. I don't know how I feel. Well, I do. I'm just like nervous. I just want it done now. You know when there's like the lead up. So I was just taking some before photos. For my job, I am watching myself back on camera all the time. So I always notice my teeth, they're not awful. Just a few of them actually twisted more than I thought. Um, and also that one, sometimes when I talk, can't do it now. I can just see it like poking out the back and it really, really bugs me. Um, but yeah, I feel like a bit too sort of nervous to have breakfast and, oh, I need to pack paracetamol. <gasps> Just reminded myself, she did say take a few paracetamol before. Oh, I'm gonna get going, but I'll catch up with you when I'm there. This is what I'm wearing today. Um, I've got my new Topshop scarf on. It's so nice because one side it's got big checks and then the other side it's got small checks. But it's just such a nice colour and like I feel like you could just like throw it on over an outfit and it just makes it look really sort of like autumny and cosy. I've just got a plain white roll neck on. Um, I've got my bash leather jacket. Um, these are Zara like knitted um, trousers. And then I've got my new balance on. I just wanted to be comfy and like cozy today guys i'm here i'm outside just about to go in i just thought i'd show you my naked teeth for the last time because the last time you're gonna see them without races on for about a year so oh my god oh i'm nervous let's do this Good morning everybody. So it's the day after I got my braces fitted and I'm still getting used to them and I haven't spoken on camera yet. So I think I'm a little bit like, um, that's why I'm trying not to watch myself because I think the more I watch myself, the more I try to like, I don't know, cover them up. Um, but as you can see, as I'm like talking now, they're actually, sorry, Bertie is really crying in the back. Um, they're not, 
overly noticeable at all are they so i'm just going to show you up close so on the top is the white ceramic ones so from a distance they're so so subtle um and then on the bottom I have got like the regular silver ones. So the reason why we did these and not Invisalign was because she said these are a lot quicker and they're a lot stronger so they can move your teeth a lot quicker. And actually I had a lot more corrections than I thought that I would need. So this is gonna be a much better option for me. So they were fitted yesterday. Um, I took some paracetamol just before they were fitted and they, it, they, fit, they were fitted in like under an hour so so quick somebody from 76 harley street so kindly filmed the whole thing for me so i'm going to put like a time lapse of it um next so you can see how they are properly fitted I thought that I would feel more rubbing on my gums, which I don't at all. The only pain that I've kind of had is it started just before I went to bed last night, kind of achy. Through the night they were quite kind of sore. I've taken some more paracetamol this morning. I was expecting some pain and to be honest, it isn't as bad at all as I thought it was gonna be. So I'm pleasantly surprised. Um, it's gonna take a bit of getting used to when eating. Uh, my dinner last night got all stuck in them. I guess pesto pasta isn't a good thing to be eating when you've got braces. Lida, my orthodontist, thinks it's gonna be nine to 12 months. I just can't tell you how friendly, helpful, professional, amazing, like they just completely take their time. That's never rushing you if you've got more questions. And that is just so amazing because it's such a big thing, isn't it? And of course you're gonna have so many questions. Um, I just can't kind of recommend them enough if you are looking for any orthodontic treatment. Um, they just have like a normal dentist hygienist there as well. So it's not just kind of braces. So highly recommend checking out 76 Harley Street if you are in need of any dental work. So today is Wednesday. I have got um, quite a few videos to film. So I'm just setting everything up ready to film for the day. But my camera battery is already flashing at me, which oh, I didn't charge it overnight. Oh, so annoying. Um, but yeah, I'm going to end this vlog here. This has been the first week of lockdown number two here in the UK. Um, thank you so much again for tuning into another video. Hope you guys are keeping okay and looking after yourself. Um, and just take it easy. Sending so, so much love to you all. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.